What's up? Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf. Today I have a new special treat for you all. Joining me today I've got Ben Jelly, who I've been competing with for the past, I'd say, two years or so. And more often lately we've found ourselves coming after each other in some tournaments. Although placements haven't always been the best, we wanted to settle that beef on camera in a best two out of three series, starting with Hunter Park. Ready to get into it? Yes, sir. All let's right, let's it. go. I usually, these videos are fun and games, but this is gonna be super serious. No memes today. It's just gonna be some competitive disc golf action. We are gonna be playing Hunter Reds today, which is the harder, longer edition of the course. To start us off, if it lands on heads, it's gonna be Ben. If it lands on tails with my number for the whole world to see, it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me first. All right, hole one is gonna be 336 feet, chilling down there in the woods. Gonna be blind off the tee. We're gonna go in for it to start it off. That is probably in a horrible spot. It yeah, kicks so far to the left. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's dangerous. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, Ben pretty much has nothing over here, but maybe he can manufacture something cool. Oh, that was so close. It's not bad. <laughs> He, he doesn't have much either, but he's going to make something happen. Oh, he didn't make it happen. It's off to a rough start here, folks. Oh, he did it! Oh my god. You can see very quickly what the woods a hunter can do to you. And we're only on hole one. Great save. Thank God. That is a great save. Terrible, terrible work, but good save. I got an absolute gift from Ben. I didn't know it was my birthday, but we'll take the stroke lead already. Let's go. Hole two is gonna be a little tricky to film. It's also blind off the tee. 370 feet par three. Uh, ideally backhand turnover if you wanna just go down and take the easy par. Or if you wanna get aggressive, you can put down a roller. What I'm gonna do, I've got my H7 in hand. That actually would have helped. Dude, that might be all the way down there. I'm really? I didn't get it down. I got caught on this tree. Trusty left Trusty Shrike. <laughs> camera. Uh, oh, we got it. It looked like it got a kick at the end. Good. Yeah, the camera just wants to focus on the tree. Oh, oh what a kickback, dude. For the two on the hardest hole. Oh, it was good. It was good. All right, a couple of parts on the last one. Hole three, we've got 280 feet, slightly uphill. Uh, basically, just a big tunnel shot. I'm going to go mid, we're going to go Pathfinder, just pretty much straight at it. Oh, he's done it beautifully. Oh, that's so nice. Do cool things, Disc. Not that. I think I bounced the wrong way. Not the greatest of lies, but not terrible either. Ah. That'll work just fine. Let's go. Oh no. Player two always does it better. <sighs> Turning a one stroke lead into a three, but plenty of holes to play. Hole four here, par three, 260 feet. Danger behind the basket, because there's a creek. So if you go too far, you'll find yourself in it straight out of bounds. Also, if you go too far to the left or right on this hole, Pretty much natural OB, you're taking a bogey at best. I'm gonna go zone. Get around it. He did it. No way. <laughs> oh no. 
Worst kick in history. I thought I had it. Finally. Man, luckily has some stuff to work with. Yeah, that's just fine. I really want to put the dagger in, but it's just straight death behind the basket. Let's see it. Oh! Good pot. He's came to play. I didn't lose the stroke. All right, hole five. This one's going to be hard to see from the tee box. Again, it plays up by the pond on the course. So ideally, the play is to go wide out left up the hill as far as you can and then you have generally a chip hyzer into the green i'm gonna go charge her off the tee i got a hold of that one. Oh yeah that actually might be in like big time big time oh that's gonna be great and you're gonna be like neighbors with me yeah, dude. yeah a little shorter than yours but I love it. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not great. I don't know if I told you guys on the tee, but I imagine you can use your uh, deductive reasoning skills to anticipate that this is a par four over 600 feet. We're going to go quake on the upshot. Uh -oh. oh, he's got the tree in the sight. Nope. No tree. He's got a putt. I have a putt. This man's an animal with the wow. Anheuser angle. Oh. Tap in for Ben. Hole six, par three, uh, 350 feet. Plays about 100 feet behind the yellow basket perched up there. It's also a creek along the right-hand side that plays OB the whole time. We're gonna go MD3. Oh, don't skip out of bounds. Yeah, that walking path is also OB, so. Oh, Fun! Oh, God. Uh-oh. It's inbounds! Let's go! It is inbounds. I might get a stroke. <laughs> it's a tiny upshot for Ben to get a stroke on me. Oh, let's go. What great... Oh, I mean, the fact that you got that yeah, far is still impressive on its own, my guy. I have no idea where Ben ended up, so we're just gonna play it up and take our bogey and move on. Almost did we. Oh no. Ben. Real quick intermission, do you hope you guys are enjoying the content so far? I'm loving bringing a competitive series your way. If you're interested in this kind of content and you're not currently subscribed, be sure to do so. Leave a comment, like the video, it helps out a bunch. Let's get into hole seven. All right, hole seven, 336 foot par three, plays right up the middle. Uh, creek in the middle is casual. You can take pretty much whatever gap you want. Forehand on the left hand side, backhand hyzer, up the middle, flip that if you're a lefty. We're gonna go instinct. No tree, that's so crispy. Oh, nice. Did you park it? I don't think it's parked, but it's, it's in a circle. Thank you. Come out of it. Good shot. Let's go. Oh, it's stuck. I gotta, I gotta hug the, the basket. Ben with the absolute park job. Hole eight, par four, 640 feet down yonder. Looks like it's probably down there in Narnia to you guys. I'm gonna go my X out Halo Faro on a roller, probably place it down the left-hand side and it'll go a little bit to the right. Oh, he's done it. That's so nasty. Just keep man. going. It's, go! That's so good. Look, it's even gonna finish back on the right side. Oh yeah. Fade? That's gonna be great. It's probably more open over there anyway. I, I think I caught clover on it. Oh, 
Oh, fade for him. Oh, that was so close. It did have some late stability, it looked like. Oh, yeah, that was gonna. I, that was right where I wanted it, truthfully. I just was a little bit close to the tree. Oh, Chip Heiser, fireball. Pretty good. Yeah, should be okay. It's probably maybe outside the circle. We'll see. Oh my god. Oh no. Grip locked. Grip locked. Check out the podcast. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, dude. Let's go. Jacob. Stroke. Hole nine, par three, 333 feet. Creek along the left-hand side that plays OB. Basket is up on a mound near the creek. So you gotta get all the way there or you're not gonna be able to run the putt. You're on Pathfinder. Finding that path. Ah, that's all right. Oh, oh no. I lost it. Did it stay up? Yeah, it stayed up. Uh oh. No, dude. That's totally in the water. Basket is in a lot more treacherous position than it looks like, so I'm going to try to just lay up, take a par, and move on. Fight it. Okay, it's underneath the basket. Ben unfortunately found the water. So he's gonna have to find a spot to play from down there. No. Ah! Six strokes going into the back nine. Hole 10, 324 feet. Plays up on the mound up there. Ideally, it's a backhand. I'm gonna take my instinct, throw it kind of up the middle. It should fight a little bit and then fade towards the end. Nice. That's just what I wanted. Destroyer. Dang it, get up. Fire. No, fight it, hit the ground and stop. I think he sat. Actually he has a putt for birdie. And it's in his range. Oh no. Told you guys it was in his range, though. Yeah, snuck it right over the room. Hole 11, another treacherous par 3. We've got the basket up there, chilling 336 feet. Plays up kind of on an island. Uh, there's a creek that runs through the middle of this hole that plays OB in and beyond. Uh, two different plays you can take here. You can go the forehand if you're feeling confident with it, or you can go backhand hyzer on the outside, take an easy par, sometimes find a skip down to the basket. I'm going to take the hyzer line, going rive, outside. Underneath it. Okay, I think I sat on the tree up there, which is just fine. Uh-oh, this is dangerous, folks. He's going for it. I respect it. That is... Oh, no. I feel like I've said oh no like 50 times this video, but oh, oh no. So Alright, this is Ben's third. Oh my god. Is it I can't see, is it safe? Okay. It would normally be a great shot for yellow, but now it's in the way. So we're gonna go a little chip around it. Sit. Six. Five. That's good. Little chip shot. No. Ben is four ratings points behind me. He is not playing to his optimal level today. Let's go, dude. There he is. There he is. Oh, you should have aimed for the I, I tried to get it over there, but it yeah. just didn't quite get, get yeah. that way. Hole 12, par 3, 300 feet. Creek in the middle that plays OB. 
You're not going to be able to see this one on camera because I'm going to go spike hyzer, but you can go up the middle as well, whatever you feel like doing. Oh yeah, look at that wind. Right up there. Inside the circle or just outside of it? Up the middle. Fade. Get underneath the tree. Great shot. It's up there. Up there for a birdie pot. Let's go. I'm a good one. Let's go, dude. Go on! Nice. Hole 13, chilling 467 feet out there. If you're Kevin Jones, you can two it with a forehand. I don't have that kind of power. We're gonna go Emperor off the tee and just try to play a late turnover. Got it. It's like perfect for yellow. Oh, dude. Oh no. Probably about 240 feet out from the basket. What? Oh no. Is it bin range? Dude, oh. so close. Yeah. There we go. Good putt. Hole 14, 388 feet, plays up on top of the hill up there. Just behind it is the pond. So if you go beyond that, you're gonna be out of bounds. Walking path circles around the left side as well. That is OB as well. If you find that, God help your soul. We're gonna go arrive Heiser around the bank. Oh, he did it. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to do the same. <laughs> oh yeah, sit. Stop. Sit. Stop. No. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, it's a that's an uphill putt you can run. Oh no, dude. I keep saying it too. And like, I feel bad, but like, I don't have anything else to say, God, guys. Like, that is insane. I threw that exactly how you're supposed to throw that. I threw it like up above the basket all day. I had a freaking tail in right there. <laughs> they got you just melted it. The Rive is a sick disc. It is. Running out into the last four holes of the course, starting with hole 15, 364 feet up past that tree up there. Um, you can go hyzer, forehand, whatever you want to do to get it down there. I'm going to go rive again. We've got a bit of a headwind. I don't have anything more stable than this. Get through the tree somehow. Straight through Find it. Find a way. Yep. Straight through it. Never. That never happens, by the way. Oh, no anizer. I don't know. I'm rounding. Get a little jumper up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This would be massive. She doesn't want to stay up. Oh. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> snuck it over the rim. So hard, dude. Buckets. Full 16, another deceptive one, 231 feet off the tee. That red basket right there is about nine feet off the ground. Very elevated. I'm gonna go fireball on a forehand hyzer. Oh, that's so bad. That tree just saved me. So. It did help him a lot. Go in the basket. 
Oh, that's so deep. So deep. So deep. No. <laughs> well. Let's go. Oh. Second to last hole, 17, 431 feet, and it plays up behind a couple of guardian trees up there. Big hyzer up the middle, flex forehand, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go a hyzer on the outside, maybe even try to play a road skip up to the basket with a charger. Stay, stay. I don't think it ever came back in down. No, it's still rolling. Uh, don't do what mine did. Yep, no, yep, I, fade. I do that very weak. Hey, that's okay. You're in bounds though, yeah, so that's, bounds. that's the difference. Unfortunately, didn't quite make it, but it was close. That works. That's fine. That was pretty big time. Good clean up. All right, hole 18, 486 feet uphill. So it plays closer to probably 520-ish. Pretty much a two shot hole. It shows as a par four currently on UDIS, but most tournaments play it as a par three. However, it is not my box. I'm gonna let Ben show us how to do it. My first box of the round. I'm going to throw a shrike, as usual. It's a great shot. All right, I'm going to go charger. I'm liking this thing on some distance lines, so we'll see how it does. Well, I mean, I'm up that there, was, but... That's a money spot to lose. Oh, get down. Oh, that's... Whoa! I, you, you ran it a little bit. You probably can't see it on the camera, but I can see it just over the hill back here, just right around it. So I'm going to go AVR3. Go in the basket. Oh, so Alright, that's going to wrap up the first episode of the Tulsa Tour Series Trials. Bringing home a W on the first one, but it's definitely not over yet. We've got potentially two more battles to show you guys. The next one will be out at Hakey Creek. So we'll see you guys back here for that one. Peace.